Sure, he was walking us to space last week. Yeah, man, they had their little clappers too. Welcome back to the GSL here at GolfTV.net. It's so good to have you back on that five minute break. We are seeing quite possibly uh, one of the most one sided games we'll see here in the round of eight. Or one, one sided series, I should say. But, you yeah, know, Ness I, I do want to point out the most one sided series I think I may have ever seen. Remember Hongen versus MC last time they fought? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah. yeah. Like a booger comes out of my nose and goes back in like a yo yo. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. that well, we might see one-sided. that again, too. Yeah. This might be a short day, Artosis. I think it's going I to be. I might go outside after this and the sun is still up. And I'm like a nerd. I'm like, ah, the sun. I don't like that. But that might, you know, that might be what happens. It could be tasteless. I'll get you a parasol. Don't worry. A par- What is a parasol? It's an umbrella for the sun. Is it? As far as I know. <laughs> now I'm gonna, someone's going to be like, no, it's not. No, I'm pretty sure it is. Parasol. All right. Yeah. Let's let's research it. Let us know. Is it a word? Tweet it at us. Tweet it. He's He's called me tasteless and gone. Parasol. I, if that's true, I learned something today. There you go. All right. If My that's true, you like, don't trust me at all. I trust you yeah, a little okay. bit. A yeah. little bit. So, uh, moving on to this game. This might be the last game if things go the way they are going for an ST. Because even though, look, let's talk about the player psychology. Game one, he's completely duped. He, like, n- finds out in the last video, he's mm-hmm. like, oh, my God, I should have known. Now I'm going to lose this first yeah. game. I, yeah. I thought I was responding perfectly. I wasn't. I felt right into his plans. It was like, uh, you know, what, my, yeah, he, he M- was tricked, MJ man. Shyamalan. What's that director? It's like M. Night six, M-, M. Night. What, I, yeah, something like yeah, that. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Six Sense ending. Uh, what's the movie? Signs. One of those yeah. endings. The village. Then a game number two with the village. Ugh, that's <laughs> then uh, I was really surprised. Then when there was like a road, I was like, the problem with this movie is like, no way. I want the surprise to be that there is no surprise at the end because he keeps doing that in every movie, man. But um, so then in game number two. Yeah! In game number two, we see here these guys, um, or this, these, these two players, it's one where actually Nesty should have lost that. Yeah. He really should have lost that. He did the duping that game, Tasis, but Nesty. But he, uh, he didn't control the bailings right. No. Nesty's like, Mwah. who knows what would happen if he had controlled those bailings perfectly? Yeah. Might have been a completely different game. Well, it probably would have been lost for Nesty. I mean, unless the counterattack was perfect, but he held that off anyways. I think that's why he. It, it definitely would have been a longer game. It could have been a little bit more all in ish, but instead he made a few extra drones mm. and used them to defend well. But yeah, I mean, I can't imagine <clears throat> being the underdog and having two games go the way they went and having a good yeah. state of mind if here he in game number take, three. Yeah, if he can take game number three, I'll be very impressed. I feel like this is such an easy call for Nest Yeah. Coca has never won his EVZ, as far as I know. Uh, he's, he's against Nest He's already up 2 0. This is the biggest stage Coca has ever been in. Most important match of his life, but there he is, man. Nessie's smiling. He's like, hmm, I can hit the matinee. I will buy a golden wheel from my wheelbarrow that I use to push all my cash around. <laughs> all right, we're going to the beach, Artosis. Belshire Beach. Belshire Beach. A beautiful map. I always get in a good mood when I'm casting it or watching it. Yeah. You know, it, well, really, it's, it's nice. You've got beautiful white sand. You know, things like tile sets on maps affect me in different ways. I'm not sure you can be in a good state of mind if you have the upper right starting location on dual sites. Yeah. It is hot. Exactly. It is nasty. You know. But now we're going to Bel- Belshire Beach, so it should be pretty good. Countdown has begun, Tasteless. It's time. Let's go on to game number three and see if Koga can engineer a comeback of the century if Nesty is going to do what it looks like. I think we all think is going to happen. Win this game. Here in the GSL round of eight. Code Esther. He looked pissed there. Over here in the upper left, our player who's up two games, and he's won two championships of previous GSLs. He may be going to the finals of this one, too. I am 50. And there he is now. I'm under the impression that everybody in the studio right now, at least from the noise level, mm. <laughs> they need to bring a seismograph to... 
scale, you know how many vibrations are in here. Everybody here is basically cheering for an SD. Yeah, definitely. All right, now over here in the bottom right corner, our Zerg underdog, he is... Z Wait for it. Tenex Kuka. Oh, and some people on Twitter asked me, what? who are these girls? Those are Five Dolls. It's a K-pop group. Um, so please check their stuff out. Five Dolls. Whoa, whoa. Stop that. Some sign fighting in the sign audience. Sign fighting. Things are getting out of control. Tasis might have to go over there and take their ladder points. Stop the nerd hooligans that show up to our games. Too excited. Don't have their sign priorities right. <laughs> All right. So we do have a pool first build, or rather a gas in the pool by Coca. Just very standard timings on this game. Nesty goes for his hatchery first, and then his pool just slightly after. So he should be able to defend whatever does come out of this. But do know that it's a very wide open natural, and speedlings can do a little bit of harassment in there. Yeah. So, you know, Nesty might want to be careful about how many drones he chooses to put out. So, there we go. So Sees right, that right, hatch first. Yeah, right now, both these guys going for basically opposite builds. Mm. Um, one thing about the natural on this map is it is possible to run by with banelings and stuff like that into the main. Yeah, that's, that's definitely quite true. We will see if it turns out like that. I don't think he's going to do that, though. We should probably see a seat speedling expansion from Coca. If he does anything else off of this just very medium uh, speedling opening, I would be surprised. But he is making another two lanes, so he's actually going to go up to eight lanes. Hmm. All right, let's see what happens. <coughs> well, right now we do have Nest Team making the Roach Warren. He's making a few lanes himself. Coming here, going to go for the eggs so that when they hatch, um, there's some damage that can be dealt right as yeah. they pop out. But, um, you know, Nest has dealt with this before. Note how he kind of runs into engage and backs up. He doesn't actually want to attack, but he wants to kind of pull his opponent forward. And Ness, he's got to be careful here. Yeah. Um, Coco with the actually, funny amount of lings. Yeah, I think he's like, wait a minute. You're not supposed to keep doing this. You're supposed to turn around. Mm. And also, you know, normally you don't open with eight lings like this. So it's a, a little bit of a shocking thing for Ness T to see. He just got LZ Gamered. He but, just uh, got LZ Gamered. It looks like he's going to have enough lings now to hold this off. Nest T's speed just starting, though, against the speed lings that are out. So he's going to have to do some nice zoning defense, as we see he's doing. Koka is just going to have to micro as hard as he can, so he can get any real damage in. I really oh! like the way he's playing. Oh, look oh at this. my god, he managed to slip through the drones. Uh, not well defended. But there are only five lings that did get through. The rest were trapped by Nest T. He might have actually now have these lings stuck inside of his base. You know, I think Nest T should have split up these lings that he has chasing him a little bit more. You know, start trying to zone them and catch them as they do try to run by. And it what looks like... What is that? Yeah. He shouldn't even be attacking. Yeah. Coca probably should just get out of there or just micro insanely until speed is out. Just see what he can see. He does see the Roach Horn. He has his own Roach well, Horn finishing up during all this. Keeping his Zerglings running around like that at least, uh, you know, gives him some intel. Now, here's the thing, though. Uh, Nest T is continuing to make Zerglings. We might have a big counterattack, and we yeah. do. You're quite right, Tasis. Ten more Lings on the way. Seven Roaches on the way for Coca. But those aren't very quickly or no. very quick. I can't believe I just said that very quick at all. In fact, Coca's up three drones. But it's right now 26 Lings to seven Roaches. That is the unit count. So will Nesty have enough to do some real damage here? Uh, if he doesn't, he could be in trouble because Coca is droning very, very well. He's at 25 drones to 18 of Nesty. But Nesty's up to 41 Zerglings at the moment. Oh my god, Tasteless. We do no, have Coca I... switching into Baneling tech. Oh! And, oh, he might want to just run yeah, by. Yes, exactly. Indeed. That's what run by. Go to the drones. Oh my god. Oh nice hold position god. there. Taking out a lot so of drones. So many drones have been killed just now. Quite true. And uh, at the natural at he is rallying in more and more and more and killing off some queen. roaches and lings and everything else. Looking very Look good for that. an ST. And look, here's the problem is roaches actually aren't fast. So, I yeah. mean, if he doesn't want to engage him, he just, like, runs past them. And the <laughs> circlings, while the other ones keep them busy, go into the main, take out the drones. Coca down to two drones against 25 in ST. He can just sit at home, make spine crawlers, and the game will be over. Professor T right here has got his PhD in owning nerds. 
<laughs> That's exactly what he is. He's got <laughs> two PhDs. GG and Nesty, easy peasy, zergy squeezy, goes on to the round of four. Possible three-time GSL champion coming up. He's such a badass, man. He totally took him out. I can't believe how one side of these games have been. Yeah. Nesty. This is a series where one player was just not even comparable to the other. Yeah. You know, Coke is actually a very, very good player. I have a lot of respect for him. He's becoming extremely Look, good. But there's no shame in you losing don't, to Nesty. Here's the thing, tasteless. Uh -oh, you don't try to beat Nesty. Who does that? I do that. Well, that's I don't mean I'd lose, but that's what I do. All, all I'm saying is... Look, uh, you may call what I'm saying a defeatist attitude. I'm just calling it realistic. Nesty is a nerd slayer. He is, And man. he has slain that nerd right there. Xenix Coca. Well, hopefully we'll see more of uh, Xenix Coca in the future here. Oh, I think we definitely There's no shame in getting as far as the round of eight here in the CODAS, which is easily the most competitive individual league in the world for StarCraft oh, yeah. 2. There he is, Nesty, one of the oldest pro gamers uh, in the business. Code S? No, Code Ness. Ooh, look at you. You're funny. Yeah, look at You're me. You're good. All right, so that is our first match of the day. Yeah. And now we get to see who gets to try to stop Nesty on his, his march to the finals. Will it be MC or will it be Hangen? Or will it 100% be MC? <laughs> It might 100% be MC. And it might very Look, well 100% I'm waiting for the moment where, yeah. where Hongan's wonky style can kind of um, pick up. Mm. I'm know? waiting for Hongan to not take huge risks. You know, he did. I do want to say one of those games against Xenio, I was like, ooh, that was, you played that pretty well. But then the other one was kind of a train wreck. And if you recall during the group stage, all Hongan did was take insane risks. Look, when you're against somebody like Hongan, generally people would advise you to just defend mm. uh, in PvZ, PvT. PvP, I mean, just four warp gate rush. He's going to try to take a risk. Um, so I think that's what we're going to see from MC, to be perfectly frank. I think we're going to see a lot of four warp gating. MC, uh, by the way, um, MC's English getting so good nowadays. It really is, man. Yeah. Huck in general helping him out, flying yeah. around the world like a nerd baller. Meeting you guys. Yeah. You could, if you've ever seen him at an event, feel free to speak some English to him. Yeah. Just don't, don't do it. Some people are like, oh, he speaks English, and then they're like, blah, 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 blah. they like talk too fast. You know what I'm talking about? Don't do that. Learn. I hate it when people do that to me. They're like, oh, our toast speaks English. And like, blah, blah, blah. Like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't understand. Well, sometimes people have done that to us, like, in, especially, usually old people do that, but in, in Korean, to speak too fast. Okay, I'm sorry. We actually have a five minute break. We'll be back with uh, the second half of uh, today's games PvP, OGSMC against Hong and Prime. I'll see you in just a little bit.